No point in beating around the bush. We all know why we're here. Roll the intro. Hey, what's up, pups? It's JR, and Built to Destroy is back once again. To be honest, when I made the first episode of BTD, I had no idea I'd keep this series going for three seasons. But here we are, back again with hundreds more weapons to build. I'm going to start off this season by clarifying a few things people seem to have gotten confused about in the past. The biggest point being that this series is not trying to jumpstart a new meta or anything like that. This is simply a weapon spotlight series. The next point being that I'm most likely not going to be taking requests for builds to do for the series. This is simply because the builds you see in all of these videos are, and always will be, my own personal builds, and not necessarily the most effective builds for each weapon. A great example of this would be my build for Grenlock, on which I used fire rate mods, like Speed Trigger, which isn't exactly the best idea. I just wanted my Grenlock to feel more like a high fire rate repeater, something I'm a fan of in almost every game. The third point being that I do attempt to stay away from making videos on meta weapons in Warframe for this series, simply because I'm not a fan of very many meta weapons, and therefore never build them, but this doesn't mean I will never make a video on a meta weapon or a very popular weapon. And the fourth and final point I would like to make clear is that I do not believe in the meta for Warframe. I do not believe that there is a best weapon, best Warframe, or best build. And thusly, I do not expect people who watch this series to build weapons I build and use the exact same mods I use. In fact, I encourage them to build them differently. But in the end, if you do watch this series to help teach yourself on how to mod weapons and whatnot, I encourage you to not just use the same mods on everything. Experiment. Find what builds and what weapons fit you and your playstyle. This game has hundreds of weapons and several Warframes to choose from. Ignore lists and videos that shove specific weapons and builds down your throat and experience this game in its entirety. You can only do so much with that Scoliac slide crit build. Find your setup, not someone else's. Anyway, with all that aside, let's get into the episode. I like high fire rate bullet hoses as much as the next guy, but there's always been something so nice and satisfying about being able to run trains on things with only a couple pulls of the trigger. In games like Call of Duty, for example, I have always been a fan of semi-automatic rifles. You have all these guys running around with their SMGs with extended mag and rapid fire. You could join their ranks and try to go for that tack nuke kill chain, sweating your ass off the entire match as you blow through every last round in that vector of yours, or you could run a semi-automatic rifle with high caliber, foregrip, and a decently magnifying optic and headshot with the best of them. Anyone who runs semi-auto weapons in Call of Duty a lot can tell you that there is nothing more satisfying than dropping that submachine gunner that's been dropping a fat kill chain every two minutes with a swift shot to the dome. If you have a weapon that doesn't just spray bullets like a can of Febreze, you can better appreciate the power behind each shot, and more importantly, make sure that every bullet counts. As a long-standing member of the semi-auto squad, you bet your ass I run some marksman rifles in Warframe as well. And I've recently been playing around with a new toy. And that toy is Latron Prime. <laughs> Latron Prime is the prime variant of the Tenno semi-automatic rifle Latron. It comes loaded with 90 base damage, favoring puncture damage, coupled with 22% crit chance, 2.8 times crit damage, and 26% status chance. Very close values like this are always nice to see in my book. However, you can also use Latron Wraith for 30 less base damage, but a higher fire rate and slightly higher crit chance if you want. Latron Prime was released alongside Frost Prime and Reaper Prime in the first Prime Access Pack, meaning if you don't count Excalibur Prime, Bratton Prime, Lotto Prime, and Skana Prime, Latron Prime was one of the first Prime items. As I'm writing this script, the Prime Vault has temporarily opened, so if you want Latron Prime, you better act fast, because it isn't going to last forever. Anyway, I built Latron Prime because I noticed that I almost had a full set for it, and decided to rebuild it for old time's sake. Funnily enough, from the next day's sortie, I was lucky enough to get a Riven mod for Latron. A few rerolls later, I was given Latron Acriata, which gives Latron plus 178.9% damage and 130.8% crit damage. I would have preferred to have crit chance instead of crit damage on it, because I focused my build on status, and the extra crit chance for my Riven would have been nice, but this Riven is in no way bad. 
I'll get to why as we hop over to my build. As I said before, I focused on raising my status chance on Latron Prime. However, I do have a hybrid crit status build, it's just more so towards the status side. I have Serration, Latron Acriata, and Split Chamber increasing my overall damage. Then, Hammer Shot and two dual status mods that I alternate out whenever I need to switch the element Latron has. Gas for Corpus, Corrosive for Grenier and Infested, and Radiation for Eidolon Hunting. Finally, I saved the crit portion for last for a reason. I have Latron Acriata, Point Strike, Vital Sense, and Hammer Shot increasing my crit chance and crit damage respectively. Best part about being that with Hammer Shot, Vital Sense, and my Riven mod, Latron has a 55% crit chance, which isn't all that high, if I'm honest. But it also has a crit damage of 11.5. That is a big bonus. Keep in mind, if I ever get the chance to get orange crits with Latron, like for example the Smita crit charm or Haro's Covenant ability, it will kick up its crit damage to 22 times. If I orange crit, I am multiplying my damage by 22. Yeah. Let's take a look at those damage stats, eh? With my 4 form of build and my Riven specifically, Latron Prime gets up to 19,264 average overall damage and 80,333 average DPS. Not to mention, with that 88% status chance, I'm procking rather often, meaning I'm dealing some mean gas procs or ripping up some armor with corrosive procs all day. That's going to wrap up this episode of Built to Destroy. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping it a like, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a pup if you haven't already. Also, if you want to support me and the channel, consider becoming a patron for as little as $1 a month. My name's JR, and I'll see you guys in the next one.